in this video we're going to discuss tracking out effects in your tracking playlists. Tracking out is a newer way of dealing with stopping an effect in a tracking cue list rather than putting it at zero size and having it continue through the cue list as we had done in the past. Tracking out allows you to end an effect on a cue and have it not show up in the following cues as a zero sized effect. So to get started what we have here is a cue list that I wrote that has a handful of cues in it. The first cue has our spots straight down white. The second cue introduces a circle effect and the third cue introduces a color effect. If I wanted to stop this effect, I could select my fixtures, put them in the position that I would like them to end in, and record the fourth cue. Recording the fourth cue gives me the option to stop effects via the tracking filter by removing the F from the tracking filter or by scrolling all the way to the right and choosing zero old effects yes. When I go to cue number four, it's going to stop both effects. What tracking out effects allows you to do is to do something similar but on a per effect basis. So we're gonna step back one step. I'm going to remove that Q4 that I created. And I'm going to write a different Q. I'm going to include my current Q. This is going to pull all of the information for Q number three back into the programmer. You can see Q number three has the color effect in it. If I wanted to stop the position effect, I could have very easily included Q2 as well. You see by hitting include two, we get our circle effect. Now, to stop the effect or track it out, I'm going to go to the programmer, view effects, find the effect that I would like to track out, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the right here to the field that is labeled track out. I'm going to say yes. And then what I'm going to do is record my fourth cue. This cue now has the track out information in it. It's still tracking all effects according to the tracking filter. And now if I go to cue number four, I keep my color effect, but the position effect is tracked out and won't show for the rest of the cues. If I decide to make another change and record another cue, you'll see in Q5 now that there are is no effect showing. And if we view tracking, you can see that the circle is blacked out, showing that it is no longer active in tracking at this point. This can be done on a per queue basis, per effect basis, and is a very efficient way of stopping your effects in your tracking queue lists. So one more time, we look at our queue list. We have the original queue with the spots open, straight down, open white. We add the circle effect, we add the color effect, then we track out the circle effect, leaving just the color effect. Hope you find this useful. As always, you can find us at www.campsislighting.com.